Now for this next part, it says use our answer to part A, which was this part, to work out this integral x squared cos 3x integrated with respect to x. So again we've got integration by parts here. And so what I'm going to nominate is x squared as u and the cos 3x as dv by dx. So if we carry on using integration by parts, it'll be the first part, the u part, which is x squared, multiplied by the integral of the second part. And the integral of cos 3x is going to be a third sine 3x. So I've got a third sine 3x in there. Now we minus the integral of the part that we've just integrated, so we just copy that down, 1 third sine 3x, and we multiply it now by the differential of the first part, of the u part. Differential of x squared is 2x, and we're integrating this all with respect to x. So we just need to clean this up, and so for this first term we've got x squared over 3, sine 3x and then for this term here we can take the 2 times the third, 2 thirds out the front of the integral so we've got minus 2 thirds and then we've got the integral of x sine 3x with respect to x. Now we can see why they asked us to use part a now because we've got the result of the integral of x sine 3x with respect to x. It's up here. So all we need to do is just substitute that in. So we've got x squared over 3 sine 3x and minus 2 thirds then multiplied by the answer that we had up here. So that's minus x over 3 cos 3x plus the 1 9th sine 3x and then just put plus another constant. You could call it c but I'm going to call it a, it's up to you. And if we multiply this out we get x squared over 3 sine 3x for the first term but for this one we're going to get plus 2 ninths x cos 3x and then minus 2 thirds times the 1 ninth is minus 2 27ths of sine 3x and then we've got that constant a. Alright, so there you go. That's the end of that question.